If you're a fan of cutting edge technology and space exploration, then you'll definitely want to check out this video. Musk is well known for his technological leaps. He pioneered payments online with PayPal, kickstarted the EV market with Tesla, and practically created the private space industry SpaceX. But you may not have heard of his latest monumental advancement. We're talking about a brand new rocket engine developed by Elon Musk that'll take us to Mars, help us explore the moon, and even dominate the aviation industry. So what makes this engine so special and unique? Why is it so important? The answer is found throughout this video. Get ready to learn all about this groundbreaking technology and to find out when we can expect to see it in action. Stay tuned! The Raptor engine is a whole new level piece of technology that combines massive power, fuel efficiency, and reusability in one package. It is sure to play a major role in shaping the future of space exploration. But just how big is this engine? I know this is one question that's running through your mind right now. Here it is. The Raptor engine has no small feet. It stands at over 50 feet and weighs over a million pounds. And how does it manage to produce such a powerful thrust? The secret lies in its unique fuel mixture of liquid oxygen and methane, which allows the Raptor engine to produce an impressive 1.7 million pounds of thrust. But the benefits don't stop just there. Did you know that it's also designed to be reusable? Yes, that's right. Something that has never been done before. And if a Starship is designed to be fully reusable, that makes the system much cheaper to launch than anything in existence, including SpaceX's own Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. Even Marco Ciceres, a senior space analyst at the Teal Group said, what they're trying to do sounds crazy to me and to many people in the industry. They want to reuse these engines hundreds of times, which has never been done. He added, these engines have to work like your car engine. You turn it on, it goes, and you never expect it to blow up. With all that in mind, I know you now get the reason why this engine is special as compared to other Starship engines. Now let's dive into the next phase of how this Raptor gets to work. Raptor is like the supercar of rocket engines. It got double the power of its predecessor, Merlin. All hail to the high pressure combustion system that generates an incredible 380,000 pounds of thrust. In other words, it's like a whole fleet of sports cars combined into one engine. I know you can get the real picture of how powerful this technology is. Built with a robust and versatile body, the Raptor can get work done in a wide range of temperatures and environments. In short, it's the ultimate engine for taking on the challenges of interplanetary travel and space exploration. While the normal engines use the common open cycle system, Raptor uses what's known as a full flow stage combustion system, only the third engine in history to employ the system. A full flow stage combustion engine refers to how a pump spins a turbine to drive the engine, using what's called a pre burner to get this process going by injecting a small amount of fuel. Normally, some of the propellants are expended in a traditional open cycle engine to start this process, but Raptor will use every drop of propellant available, make it one of the most efficient rocket engines ever built. The SpaceX Raptor is designed to produce an unbelievable amount of energy. We're talking about the equivalent of four Hoover dams. As such, it supplies a spacecraft with kinetic energy at the rate of 11 million horsepower. By comparison, one of the most powerful cars ever made, the Bugatti Veyron, has an engine weighing 0.5 tons, a third the weight of the Raptor, but can only generate a meager 1,200 horsepower. You can now imagine how much energy is produced by the SpaceX Raptor engine. Away from that now, here's how it works. Have you ever set off a firecracker and watched it launch into the air without a loud bang? I guess so. Well, chemical engines work on a similar principle, except that they use a continuous explosion to propel a spacecraft through a vacuum of space. These engines burn fuel and an oxidizer in a special chamber, which causes a reaction that releases a ton of heat. This heat causes the gases to expand rapidly, like a giant firecracker going off inside the engine. The expanding gases are then forced into a constriction, thus converging. Then they continue into the nozzle which expands, it thus diverging and accelerating them further to hypersonic velocities. As it expands and pushes the rocket forward, the pressure and temperature of the gas both fall. In exchange, its velocity increases. The pressure of the escaping gases pushing against the walls of the engine drives the rocket forward into the air or in our case into space. 
Essentially, a rocket is an efficient way of converting the fuel's chemical energy into kinetic energy. When the propellant is combusted, propellant energy is converted into thermal energy. Because the engine resists explosion, the gas reaches high pressures. As the gas flows through the nozzle, it exchanges thermal and pressure energy for kinetic energy. In simple terms, the explosion pushes back against the combustion chamber and nozzle, forcing the rocket forward. Now that you know how the Raptor engine works, let's dive into the benefits of this special engine. Why this Raptor engine? First off, as compared to the original engine, Raptor has been entirely replaced with a more simple and powerful unit. This means that this turbo machinery can fire more fuel. Further, the combustion chamber, nozzle, and electronics have also been completely reworked to make the most of this fuel. Secondly, the Raptors are welded together in a Starship effectively, reducing the number of components needed, thus making these engines lighter and easier to manufacture. And so, what do all these changes add up to? The Raptor currently has produced 247 tons of thrust. That's during the static testing. However, engineers are confident enough that they can hit 250 tons soon which is a 35% increase in thrust for a smaller, lighter engine. This helps the engine increase the payload. But this doesn't just stop there. All hail the Raptor's simplicity, which enables it to be launched in just an hour. This simplicity has made it cheaper to manufacture it. As such, to say that this engine is groundbreaking is an understatement. SpaceX Raptor engine impacts are immense. But just how powerful is this engine? Stay tuned as we dive into this. How powerful is the engine? One of the things that set the Raptor apart is its high thrust to weight ratio. Can you guess how much thrust it generates? With just a weight of 1,500 pounds, it can generate 230 tons of thrust. That's some serious power. This amount of thrust allows the engine to lift heavy payloads into space with ease, and it's crucial for the success of Elon Musk's dream of colonizing Mars. Musk estimates that a total of 1 million ton payload is needed to set up a self-sustaining Mars colony. In doing a little math, it means that Raptor-equipped starships can deliver this much to Mars in just 10 years with around 20 launches a week. This means it may only take approximately 1,000 or so Raptor-equipped starships working full-time for a decade to colonize Mars. I know you're imagining that this will cost an awful lot. You're wrong this time. Compared to the NASA SLS rocket with around 15% smaller payload than the Starship and costs around $1.55 billion to over $2 billion per launch, the Raptor is estimated to cost only $2 million per launch. Yes, that's right. As much, Musk's hypothetical decade Mars colonization project will cost $2.08 billion a year. The same as one SLS launch. Or to put it another way, Starship is 1,040 times cheaper than the SLS. Moving on, the Raptor engine is not just a one-trick pony. It also has a high specific impulse, which is a measure of how efficiently it converts fuel into thrust. And the higher the specific impulse, the higher the efficiency. So just how efficient is the Raptor engine? It has a specific impulse of around 330 seconds, which is higher compared to traditional rocket engines. This makes it not only efficient and cost-effective, but also reduces greenhouse gas emissions. But what about the versatility? Can a Raptor engine be used in a variety of environments? Yes, it can. It's designed to be able to operate in the vacuum of space in the harsh conditions on the surface of Mars. This property makes it a crucial component of SpaceX plans to establish a permanent human presence on the Red Planet. And so with all that, the question remains, will the Raptor engine take us to Mars one day? Be free to comment on this in the comments section below and tell me your thoughts. Well, that marks the end of our video. If you like this video, make sure to check out more on our channel and click the subscribe button on your screen now. On your screen.